Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a great day. We're going to talk about Garmin Connect Mobile today and just how you can update it to make it a little bit easier to read and organize the information correctly. If you're like me and a long Garmin user, you know that you like the old Garmin Connect Mobile because of the tiles and the way they look, but it is what it is, but I'm going to do a just a best practice video on just how you can move stuff around. It won't be very long, so let's get to it. In focus, honestly, this one is pretty helpful if you just want to see three tiles at the top and you don't mind scrolling through them like I am now. I can see the all activities, I see the body battery, and then I see the sleep score. Unfortunately, my Garmin Connect or my Garmin Tactic 7 Pro is not working for the sleep score over the last couple weeks. They're doing something with the betas and it's all screwed up. So it's not even detecting it, so it kind of makes me mad because I love to have my sleep data and I have it all. However, this one you can either keep on or off and then if i scroll down here to add a glance this one i would keep on or off i would not personally have both of them as a best practice on here it's just way too much information and the tiles are quite big so depending on what like you what what you like to look at you could do at a glance or you could keep the in focus on the next one here is the sleep coach i would turn the sleep coach off the sleep coach is just plain dumb it doesn't even really work that well it says hey i slept eight and a half hours hey why don't you sleep another 30 minutes less tomorrow it makes zero sense to me there's really never any good insights in here so i would turn this one off altogether i'm going to show you how to do that in a second i'm just kind of going through the main sections here the events and the garmin coach plan this is another one that if you are doing events you can put your event date in here if you're using garmin daily suggested workouts or if we're doing a Garmin coach plan, keep these on. I personally keep them off because it is a little crowded and I try to change some areas here just so you like it. And then the challenges, I keep this one on my main screen just because I will show you in a few minutes why. So in order to update all these screens, all you have to do, go, go down to the bottom on your home screen, you click edit home, and then in here, this is where you actually update it. So as I said before, you could keep the in focus on or keep the at a glance on. I personally, as a best practice, do not have both of them on because it just clutters it up completely. I like to keep at a glance on and then I keep in focus off. So I just push the slider over off and then sleep coach, <laughs> don't keep this one on. Just turn it off. It doesn't make any difference. You could look at it if you really want to, but it doesn't really provide any valuable insights ever. Sleep more, sleep less. Yes, I know this. I feel tired, whatever. The next one here, at a glance, I always keep it on. If you click into it, you can go in and update what you see in those tiles. You could uh, see up to eight stats up there. It kind of makes it a little bit crowded, to be quite honest. But if you want to move them up, you could push it. You want to add them more up there and you can move them around by just holding the three little lines and then events garmin coach plans i'm turning them off you can do what you want if you're doing the coach plan keep it on because it's actually kind of nice because it shows up there and then challenges i personally keep on because i will show you in a second on how you could update the bottom three tabs on here and then last but not least you have yesterday and the last seven days which are not defaulted to be on I think that's by design because when I scroll these two on, which I personally do turn on, and I'll go back to the main screen here, on this, this is the look of the last Garmin Connect Mobile. This is just what it looked like. You had your tiles up here for yesterday. You couldn't really customize them, and you had your last seven days in here. You couldn't customize them, but it was really kind of nice. I really like this look because it's a minimalized look. Oh, so now you can see my home screen, in focus is off there, sleep coach is off, either one in focus or glance, as I said, as a best practice. And if you only want one or two glances on here, that's cool. And then I take off the coach plans. I keep challenges on here because this is the another pro tip that probably a lot of people don't know about. You could see the bottom here, you got health, you got calendar, you got newsfeed you could actually change these and the order that they're in. So if you go to more on the bottom right here, and then you see edit on the top right there, click there, you can move these around. 
So let's just say I don't want to see newsfeed, but I want to see activities. So I take newsfeed down, I put activities up, but I want activities to be in the start. So I just hold on to three little lines and drag it up, and then I'm going to press save. Now you can see that magically at the bottom of the screen, I have activities, I have health, I have calendar. I'm going to do this one more time because this one is probably the most important. So click more, click edit, go into the edit, scroll down to see what you want. I'm going to take a calendar out and I'm going to put segments in. I don't really do a whole lot of segments, but I'm just going to do it for here just so you can see it. So now look at the bottom of my screen here, activities, health, segments. This is the one thing if you probably don't take anything else from my video, you can move this stuff around. Hopefully you thought this video is useful. Please let me know with your comments and what you do to customize your app and you know if you miss the old one as well. Thanks for joining me today. I'm going to be doing some more videos like this and uh, besides that, enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully the new year is going great for you as well. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.